Okay. I've been working on this for the last few days. I got this on eBay. And when I got it, it was a... Uh, it was leaked out. Most of it. So I put baby oil in here. So this is cool stuff. What it does is uh, it simulates the ocean and the water. How it moves around. And before, if you look at the top of the, the liquid, when I move side to side, you see how it's just really flat? And you see, look at it on the bottom. It look a lot more like a wave. I put a baby oil in. Um, it was like this, or like this on top. See how it moves on top, like just like that, really flat. But after I put baby oil in, it looked a lot like a wave. And I believe baby oil is a thicker fluid it's pushing down on the surface of the the blue water underneath of it. So it make it look like it's a there's more gravity, a little more wave. And here's another one, which is a blue whale one. Looks really cool. And when I was growing up, a lot of uh, guys in Taiwan, not taxi or any, no, the private cars. Um, my parents, my parents don't have a car, but um, their friends have a car. Some people have this on their dashboard. I always wanted one to one, but it's a very small one. I believe they have, and with a little sailboat, it looked like the boat is not. And there's a like a styrofoam thing on top of the boat. It looked like it was sailing, or like people was uh, actually on the not a sailboat, but a sailing. It was like it was like a Hawaiian kind of deal. So I actually got this on eBay. This is a blue a killer whale and rubber duckies. Okay, but it's leaking, so I went ahead and did a bunch of silicones and UV uh, rated um, glue around it. I even used super glue on the bottom to glue this up. After all the testing, I finally, I think I seal up all the leaks. And I ordered this on, on Amazon. So my idea was to put this on here, okay? And it's shallow enough, able to cover whatever is down here. And I'm able to, here's the best part, I'm going to put, leave this in the car. I did a bunch of tests under the sun for two, three days to seal the leak once this thing heat up to 100 degrees. And so far, this one has turned out fairly good, almost no leak. This one has a little bit leak. I keep plugging it up. And I got glow in the dark powder in blue, in sky blue, and also got a clear epoxy resin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to epoxy this. And hopefully this video will capture this pro process. I think it will be a really fun thing to do. It's something I always wanted. This is also from Amazon. Let's see what's happening. There's little cups. Uh, there's this. Not sure exactly what this does. We have a drop. Okay, this is a little crazier than I imagined. Just going to leave this on the side. Just to lay all this out. We have a Hartner epoxy. 40 minute work time. Okay, that's self-leveling. That's really good. Non-flammable, crystal clear. We have another nozzle with two nozzles. And we have the epoxy resin, 40 minute work time. That's good. What else we have here? We have the stir stirring stick. We have a little finger glove. I also used the, I, have, I brought the gloves in my, from my laboratory. This little bag. Okay. And what else we have? We have another eye drop. Okay. Uh, droplet thing. So I don't think I'll be needing this. I do want to fill this. I don't think I need that much e epoxy. Too. So, not sure exactly what this... I think this is for people who are mixing little tiny ones. I might have to mix a lot. Enough to fill this. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and... I need a bigger cup. Let me go find a bigger cup for this. Uh, paper cups. So I think this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make enough to pour it in here. Or I can set this and pour. I think I might just make enough so I can pour it in. Okay. Question is, do I need the whole cup? I don't think I need the whole cup. There's not that much. So. Let's go ahead and. Where is the razor blade? Oh, right here. Whew. Scare me a little. Wonder where the razor blade went. Okay, I'm going to cut this cup in half. Okay, this is good. And open this just to read the instruction. Not sure exactly what this is for. I know I know I want the stick for stir stirring. Okay, there's a little finger glove. 
I'd like it. I'd probably save for something else. I don't need it at the moment. Okay. Uh, English. Perfect. Okay. Stirring three to five minutes. You got 30 minutes to 40 minutes for to set. Cure in three to seven days. All right. Okay. Measure equal amount. Here's the most important thing. A and B. So this has to be equal amount for the mix. Okay. So this is what I'm going to do. We have the, the powder here. I'm going to add the powder in the end. Equal amount. So let's open A and open B. Okay. They both has a little thing like this. And this. Alright. And this. Alright. Let's open this up. Let's go ahead and do the first coat. First coat. <clears throat> I think I'll do A first. I'll put a resin in. I'm going to measure this. Maybe I'm just BSing it. I'm going to do a right instead of wasting this cup. I'm going to do a right to the war volume. Yep, I'm going to do to the war volume. It's about the same on both sides. And I'm going to do the all the way to the volume. Okay. throw this away. So there's that. Eh, I might need more. Doesn't look like it's enough. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'll just do one at a time. Okay. Next one. I think I learned my lesson. I'm gonna just pour it straight out of here. There's no point to uh, squeeze that. It's stupid. Okay. Am I at volume? Almost. Yep. Okay. So right about here. And next, you're supposed to stir this. Stir this. They say stir it till the swirl. You can see the swirl disappear. So I'm gonna stir this until the swirl disappear. So they are fully mixed. While I'm doing that, I think the powder can go in anytime. The glowing powder. Let's add some glowing powder. Is that too much? We'll see. Hopefully I don't build a bomb in the end. A little chunky. I think it's fine. Well, chunky disappeared. So this is a glow in the dark epoxy. My idea was, as it parks outside in the car, it's definitely gotta get all the sun. As it gets all the sun, as during the sunset, it's gonna glow in the dark. And it's gonna glow this powder. I think I need a little more. Oh. Okay, I use about half the powder just for this cup. I can taste the powder in my mouth. Such a fine powder. This is a blue powder. I think that's good enough. Let's do the daki. So, what I can do is I can just lay it like this and pour in. Or pour it in and... Yeah, maybe I'll pour it in. I have a strong feeling this is gonna be okay. I'm gonna pour it in. Not too much. Give me a chance to pull it out if I need to. I'll put more in. I mean, I'll pull it out. I'll... Yep, I can put more in on this end. On this end. The surface is not flat, so I gotta move. 
in this flat surface. I think this is pretty good. Settle in. Cover all the edges. Maybe just a slightly little more. Not too much. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. I got a little paper. Not paper, I mean the the wrapping paper. Out there. Just make sure it's centered. This thing is centered. Okay, push all the way down. Alright. So when it sits in the car. Okay. There. Then I'm going to put this, the rest, in. Should I make more? I might need to make a little more. It's not leaking out anywhere. So the surface tension is holding it back. That's good. I think I can add a few more. The as as the surface tension is holding, not breaking through. I think the rest of this cup can go in. I'm not wasting any epoxy. The higher it goes, better it is for the seal around. The object because this thing does leak. Perfect. I'm going to move this on here. Got perfect surface tension just bowling it out. And from what I read, is this epoxy um, does reduce its surface tension by an eighth of inch. So, like this one, it's reducing. So quickly before it hardens. I don't think we have done 40 minutes yet. I'm going to add some more. Just to get a fairly good surface tension like the other one. side perfect almost perfect Look like it's holding it's holding pretty good move this thing over just a little bit so it doesn't collapse onto Alright, there's a bowl to the surface right there. I think that's what I'm looking for. And the rest of the extra, I, I don't need it. Just throw it away. Throw it away. 
yeah, hopefully this works and see how it turns out. glowing blue even in the low light that's really cool can't wait till this uh, epoxy to harden can pick it up for about two days 18 to 24 hours should seal all the stuff around the, the ducky and there's almost no way for the water or air pressure to blow through the epoxy glass should cause a leak free nice been since last night over 14 hours if you look at this it's actually pretty cool the resin has set hard crystal clear with a almost mirror finish self-leveled very nice but it is white so I decided for crafty purposes I put some nail polish on it and after that I think I gonna I put some very thin there of blue um, Little blue, little glowy feel. And look at that. Look like an ocean in the motion. Ocean in the motion. Very nice. As for this, I think we're gonna do the same thing to it. Uh, it is super smooth though. Let's go ahead and do it. The blue matches, it looks really good. It was an experiment, but the experiment works out fairly good, so let's go ahead and apply the blue. Like I said, it's a very thin coat of blue. Doesn't take much, it can be any pattern. I'm just going to do horizontal right now, so...
minutes has passed. Now we gotta apply this before the noodles is attacking us. I think we're gonna use the rest of this bottle. Here we go, sparkly, sparkly. And once it's all dry, it looks very good. Blue ocean water. So I found something in my junk box. I collect all this, uh, I don't throw it away. The three end tapes thing from all the products we have. And uh, I keep everything, all the junks. At least I think it will work, one day will come. So it actually does. I'm going to slowly flip this around put down we are talking about 3N so for sure this will hold very strong okay. no doubt about it no doubt about it it should give a perfect adhesion to the item for many years to come Perfect. And look like it's dry. Feels really cool. You can feel little dots, but it's super silky and smooth. Let it fully dry, and we'll test out later tonight. That really add like a wave compared to you see the on top, the tension. This actually really look like a wave because the heavier oil pushing it down, causing a more gravity or resistant. So it's, it's done. I cleaned it with Nubis plastic cleaner. This is a crystal clear. And we have the other one. I'm debating which one I should put in the truck. Um, it is my childhood dream to have one of this. I always want to have one of this. I, uh, so in this particular case, it's a little heavy uh, because the metal casting, the all the stuff. So. I think tomorrow, after this is give a little another day to fully dry, I think I should be able to do this one in the truck. I mean, you can also do both, but that, that's that'll be a little excessive. <laughs> uh, it is fun though; it's a fun thing to have. Love it. Okay, I've been hitting this with lights, strong lights, for a while. So there's a layer of fingernail polish on it. It's pretty hard now. Let's see what it looks like. Wow, look at that. That is pretty good. It's hard as hell. And I like the texture. The texture of this. It looks very ocean-ish. Very gift shop. Stuff, it's like stuff you can buy in the gift shop. Okay, in the truck, I would, let's take a look, see if I can get this thing to stick perfectly in the center. I think I can. Uh, with minimal resistance, I think this would be a good, good point right here. Right, exactly right there. Okay, now all I do is... Use some isotopin alcohol to promote the adhesive. Perfect. Look how dirty that is. 
get some stuff off of it. So this is thicker. If you can tell, this is much thicker. I created this whole curvature within here to compensate the curvature that already existed. Okay. So I'm going to measure... Well, not measure, but just to eyeball it. I think this works. Let's go ahead and drive in and see how it looks. Okay. Let's test out the camera and the ducky. Let's see if the ducky... Wow, it's a little violent for the ducky, huh? That's cool. Okay. So as for the ducky, I might have to super glue it down a little bit more. Just make sure it doesn't go anywhere. But so far, so good. The ducky is responding well to the treatment. That's fun. Again, of course, you gotta always pay attention on the road. But I have to say, this is a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, yes. I also did it to the Corvette. Corvette is only with uh, double side tape, so if it falls off, it's just gonna fall right down there and not gonna work. But if it stays, it'll be really cool to see it moves around as I'm driving. It's almost very initial D. It's the killer wheel one. I think it looks really good. It looks stupid from the outside, but it looks awesome in here, especially from the driver perspective. It's very, uh, I don't know, stupid, I guess, but uh, stupid is fun. Okay. Yeah, that's what it looks like. <laughs> it's hilarious.